what is going on guys this is just a video talking about electronic arts and the possibility of them taking over wwe games there's an article on game rant and probably articles in other places too that says that there was some talks or possible talks with wwe and electronic arts about taking over the game you know taking over the development of future wwe games now I'm, I'm coming here because i'm just kind of going over why i think wwe 2k may have absolutely blown it and if they are in talks with them i think this might be a problem now their sales are really high but they have totally messed this game up the game was not messed up initially but as you can see rope break off on i turn rope break off guess what when I have a match, it's still on anyway. I, I don't know. It wasn't like that until the, those patches came out, 9 and 10. And then also, when you go to the match and try to customize it, you can't even really toggle it. Now, you get this. Now, I've, I've already talked about this in another video, but there's a lot broken in this game. The, the team entrances are screwed up. When they're coming to the ring, one disappears, and the manager system is weird now. Like, they stand there and they shake. It's like they're shaking for some reason. So, there, there's just a lot of broken stuff. It was not like that before those patches. That because I used to, I, I use those team intros all the time prior to those patches. But once they came out, that stuff was completely broken. But we're gonna go to a match and just. Let them fight it out and just discussing this. And I'm going to tell you this. I do think they've blown it, but I think, it's, I think it's possible that they may have absolutely blown their chances here with this, you know, with future games. Now, yes, the sales are really high, okay? But I think the fact that the game is so broke now and it's taken a little while for them to fix it. And maybe it just takes time to fix, you know, and, and I'm not knocking that, but we're going to put them at this weird, you know, custom arena that I made, some old school style arena. But, yeah, I think they may have blown it, but if Electronic Arts or a different developer takes WWE games... Let's just say electronic arts for right now, since that's what the article is suggesting. If they do, it's going to be at least three years before we get a wrestling game as good as this one. And that's something people should consider before they say, oh, I hope WWE, I hope 2K loses the license because I'm tired of these games. I'm not telling you that. I, the, the gameplay I like a lot. I, you know, it, when this game came out and I started playing it, I was very highly satisfied but after those patches and that stuff got broken these are not things that they changed these are things that just got broke just somehow they got messed up and i thought it was going to be a quick hot fix because but it's been a little while and they just haven't done anything i'm i'm almost 100 percent sure they're, they're getting ready to fix it or they're working on a patch but the PS4 version crashes a lot more than this one. This one crashes. When I go to intergender tag tournaments, sometimes it just crashes right when you go to it. The PS4 version crashes very consistently for me for different various reasons. Sometimes it seems random, like it just crashes without a known reason. But, you know, Electronic Arts, they have... I think they may have made a WCW wrestling game before, like backstage assault or something. I'd have to research that and and see if that's accurate. But I know they made Def Jam, Vendetta, and Fight for New York. Those aren't technically wrestling games, but I don't believe Electronic Arts has an engine for wrestling games that they can use. So that's why I say it would be another three years. Let's say, let's say hypothetically that WWE, 2K, the WWE spoke to Electronic Arts today and they said, we want you to make our future games. Okay, if that did happen, you would probably be looking at 
2025, no earlier than 2024, to actually have a game that's at least pretty good. If the, if it's before that, it won't be a good game. I'm I'm almost certain of that. You can't just throw an engine together and just create a roster and and, and uh, all the moves and everything just runs real good. You can't. It takes a long time to do that. When you know for these advanced games, especially on these next gen systems, so just keep that in mind. I mean, if that di if that does happen, you would go a pretty long time without it. And of course, you have those AEW games coming out, or the uh, AEW game coming out, and then there's the wrestling code. I don't believe that wrestling code is is gonna really be that good, but I could be wrong. I don't think it is. You know, the reason why the AEW game could be good because they have Ukes. Ukes has uh, experience on making wrestling games, but as far as I understand, the wrestling code, I can't remember the name of the developer, the basement. I can't remember the name of it. It's something basement. But anyway, I don't believe they've made any real wrestling games. So you're not going to nail it on your first try. You're going to make something decent, but... It's not going to be that good. I mean, so I think you would just have to pretty much rely on the AEW games. I'm assuming they would make that one and then make more. They may not. I heard that they might just make that one and then update it regularly and just stick with that game. Of course, that wouldn't be a bad move, especially if, it, if people love the game, you know. But that game, they're not focused as much on graphics as like a game like this. These graphics are phenomenal here. But, you know, I would prefer 2K to keep making them. Because remember, Madden, they don't necessarily have the most satisfied customers with their games anyway. I said Madden. I meant Electronic Arts. That's what I meant to say. But I was going to say Madden, NBA Live. They don't even make that now because it was so bad. And then... Madden has a lot of irritated, you know, players that just don't like the way that they make the games. So, I don't know, man. I don't know if Electronic Arts would be the best move. But, like I said, even if they are and they were to make a good game, you'd be looking at three years. At least, probably two. Two to three years. I say three. Unless, for whatever reason, they already have an engine developed, which... I don't know that they would do that. I mean, it would take time, resources, and a lot of money to build a really good wrestling game engine because, you know, they can't use that same engine they had when they made, you know, Vendetta or, or Fight for New York. Those are, I guess you can call them wrestling games, but not really. But that's an arcade fighting engine. They don't have an engine for this, or, or they... They haven't previously. I mean, it's possible that they might have something there that they've been kind of developing, but I just don't know if those type of developers would put that kind of money into building something when they don't even know if they're even going to have anything to make. But what's the opinion, you know? Because, like I said, this game, play, I, like, for the most part, the gameplay itself was great. They just, they're having issues with crashes. They're having issues with some of the options, like the rope break thing that I spoke about. And then you have that entrance problem with the teams. I don't know how that even happened, but it did somehow. And like I said, I do believe they're going to fix that stuff. If you would ask me to predict what I think is going to happen, I would tell you that I personally think that 2K is going to keep the license. Hopefully they worked out the kinks and they make games that don't have so many broken problems and, and, and crashes and stuff like that. But they're just, they're making the game so advanced now that it's hard for them to, the more advanced you make it, the more features you put in it, the more of a chance of crashes, the more of a chance of glitches and bugs. I mean, especially with these next-gen games. So I think they just haven't worked out the king yet. And I'm pretty sure if another developer would have to 
you know, fix the games too. Like, they would make broken games as well. Heck, shoot, you might as well put... Whoa, my goodness, look at that. You might as well put the next one on the PlayStation 6. I mean, it would be that long. I mean, I'm, 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 I'm kidding about that, but... I mean, when you look at this game, I mean, the gameplay itself is, is pretty good. I mean, even the AI games, like the CPU versus CPU games, they play really well in here most of the time, even with creative wrestlers. You know, I mean, as you can see, this match is playing out pretty good. I mean, so, I mean, they're, they're almost there, in my, in my opinion. If they could just make, make a game you know, make a game like this without those broken pieces and with some little stuff better as far as the AI, I think they would be on track. But anyway, what's, what's y'all's opinion? Leave a comment. Like, do you want another developer to take it? Do you want EA to take it? Do you wish another developer outside of EA would take it? If so, who would that even be? I, I don't know of any other developers that would even... You know, that I would feel like, other than Ukes, who's already making the AEW games. But if they do lose this license and it goes to Electronic Arts, then I think those AEW games are going to prosper. Or the AEW game, as you can see, he really takes that elbow pad off. That's not nothing new. That's, they've been doing that since the PlayStation 2. The referee's taking too long to start to count. And this, I when I created this arena, I put the filter on to make it look like the 80s, but I don't see that effect at all. Like a like the past WWE game, 2K games, but I don't know. I'm just not seeing it. Cause this was, I made this to be like a 90s, 80s type venue. You know, that's why you. I got the generic crowd and that bear cave. But anyway, that's this video. I think it's possible that they may have blown it, but there's another part of me saying that 2K wouldn't do, uh, that WWE would not do that because then they would have to make a sacrifice of sales and they wouldn't be able to sell future WWE games for quite a while. So I don't think they would do it. If they were to do it from a business standpoint, I think they would tell the other developer years in advance. Like, for example, let's say they had two more years left on their contract with 2K, but they planned on going to Electronic Arts after. They would tell them that now so they could start building the game. From a business standpoint, I think they would do it like that. So I'm probably 80% sure 2K is going to keep the license.